Welcome back to Flick Favorites. I'm going to explain an action, thriller film from 2016, titled, Interrogation. Spoilers ahead. Enjoy the content. As the movie opens, we discover that recent brutal terrorist incidents are occurring in an increasing number of places. A bank robber is hiding in a home during a gunfight with two police officers, who are sheltering behind a car. The robber is still firing at the policeman. As the police ask for help, Lucas drives his car rapidly to the site. Aiming to get meaningful information from those being questioned, Lucas Nolan is an interrogator. He immediately sets a timer to record how long it takes the burglar to reload the automatic weapon after leaving. He takes advantage of this knowledge and starts to walk toward the home as the thief is loading the gun. Eventually, the intruder is surprised when he enters the home and attempts to fire, but he is out of ammo. Lucas kills him just as he's going to reach for the pistol. In another instance, a guy by the name of Vasti enters a police station and informs an officer that a bomb will detonate shortly. Unexpectedly, a bomb detonates outside the building shortly after. Vasti surrenders without putting up a fight. When Lucas finally gets there a few hours later, he finds what appears to be another explosive. Vasti must be questioned in order to learn the location before it is too late. He walks in and begins conversing with Vasti in the questioning room. The suspect comes out as very careful and knowledgeable. He quotes from a book of philosophy, which Lucas can easily recall thanks to his memory. Lucas then starts to quiz him about himself, but Vasti informs him that he must have earned his answers. They then engage in a game of riddles, and Vasti warns that if the player offers the incorrect response, the bomb will detonate. Vasti asks him what the biggest falsehood about the U.S. is as he begins to disparage the U.S. The American dream, he responds, and Vasti agrees that he is correct. When Lucas asks where the second bomb is, Vasti immediately responds with its exact position. After consulting with the other detectives, Lucas suggests that they take Vasti with them to the area where the second bomb is located in order to assist them find it. Along with the others, Vasti boards a vehicle and travels to the second bomb. Lucas tells him he should have chosen a different route in life since, as of right now, he has just wrecked everything while they are traveling. It turns out that the explosion won't happen for another four minutes after they get there. To give Vasti the impression that he is in charge, Lucas lets off his shackles. He then goes for a stroll in order to locate the explosives. Lucas considers carefully what Vasti has said to him and concludes that the bomb may be in a location that provides mortgage loans. When they enter, Lucas checks a locker and discovers a bomb. He cuts the appropriate cables and deactivates it with only 10 seconds left before the explosion. The other cops soon show there and laud Lucas, referring to him as a hero. Vasti continues to converse with Lucas as the cops carry the device that has been neutralized outside. He explains that while everyone currently views him as a hero, all it takes is one minor information for perceptions to shift. Lucas understands that he has been duped and that the workplace explosion was really a distraction. In a building about 10 meters away from them, the real bomb detonates. Vasti flees in the midst of the commotion as Lucas rushes after him brandishing a gun. As Lucas approaches a building, Vasti begins firing with the gun he took from an officer. In one of the several PCs in the room, Vasti places a pen drive. He keeps firing at Lucas until he runs out of ammunition and drops the weapon. Lucas then tries to tie him, but the villain fools him once more and they engage in a hand-to-hand -hand struggle. Lucas is taken aback by Vasti's martial arts prowess, and the two battle on until the special team shows up. Lucas commands them to restrain Vasti and instructs them not to fire while they continue interrogating him. Lucas experiences a memory flash of his father while he hydrates himself with water. Lucas's father, who never ceased guiding him, is primarily to blame for his son's exceptional intelligence. Lucas, however, unintentionally attributed his father's financial struggles to the fact that his family was experiencing them. 
So, in an effort to provide for him, his father attempted to rob a store but was caught. Lucas was left to fend for himself as an orphan as of that day. When a policeman questions him about why he did not shoot Vasti, he responds that there are still bombs to be discovered. Then they find that Vasti infected several of the city's bank security systems with the virus. The FBI officers also strike out at Lucas, telling him that despite two hours of interrogation, they have not yet learned anything useful about Vasti. They thus advise him to return home and take care of himself going forward. He then recalls that Vasti tossed a paper cup in the garbage, allowing him to obtain his fingerprints. Additionally, he is aware that Vasti visited a specific pub. Lucas snatches Vasti and informs the police that he is aware of his residence. Then, after picking up Vasti, they head to the pub where he has been. The bartender claims not to have seen Vasti previously when the agents inquire. Lucas reveals Vasti's palm, which has a transient imprint of the bar's emblem. The bartender keeps calling Lucas names and implying that he is on Vasti's side. After slamming the bartender's head on the counter, Lucas turns to another man and asks whether he has ever seen Vasti. He claims to have, but when Lucas presses more, he flees. As Lucas chases after him, he bumps into a guy who draws a revolver. As soon as Lucas takes his gun, he shoots him. The second man gets a gun and tries to shoot Lucas, but Lucas quickly dispatches the assailant. Then Lucas enters a room and discovers a guy stabbing himself with a knife. Lucas defeats the man and kills him. Officers discover bomb detonators in one of the apartments a short while later. Lucas carefully studies the information and discovers that Vasti has never utilized public transit and has never been captured on video anywhere in the city. It is therefore quite likely that he resides nearby. When Lucas approaches a homeless person, he offers him some cash and inquires about Vasti. The homeless man quickly reveals that Vasti's residence is right next to the street. Thanks to the post office box, Lucas and the other cops are able to enter an apartment complex and locate Vasti's flat. When they enter the flat after looking for traps, it appears to be a perfectly typical, livable space. Lucas, however, notices a mistake in the wallpaper and finds a map of the whole city's infrastructure. The malware Vasti put in the security system is being combated by an FBI hacker during this procedure. Then Lucas gives the order to have Vasti brought to him. Vasti continues by declaring that the world is a deception and that it would be preferable to completely destroy everything and start anew. Lucas now understands that he has prior traumas that he hasn't been able to get over. Lucas discovers Vasti has a strong dislike for women after analyzing his speeches and the painting of a naked woman he saw inside the home. He quickly borrows Vasti's laptop and starts looking for solutions. He locates a dating website that Vasti once used and tries to access his account, but he first needs to figure out the password. Lucas makes a first try, but it is incorrect, and the timer now starts. Lucas is instructed by the authorities to throw the laptop away, but he doesn't listen. Before he can write the word philosophy, an agent seizes the laptop and tosses it out the window. He then thinks of the term philosophy. The FBI hacker then gains access to Vasti's account and learns he has been meeting with the CEO of a firm that specializes in deconstruction. The agents understand that Vasti is getting assistance from this business to set the explosives off. The agents locate the CEO at the deconstruction firm together with Vasti. She says she met with Vasti out of boredom and was not aware of his actual motivations, which shocks everyone. She discloses Vasti's true identity and claims that he took two explosives barrels from them. The agents learn more about Vasti's past now that they are aware of his true identity. When his father, a former security guard, got caught drinking at work, he was dismissed. He has lost everything since that day, and two years later, his mother passed away. He ended himself living on the streets as a result, and now all he wants is retribution. Lucas goes to question Vasti, but he is unable to elicit any definitive responses. He becomes out of control as Vasti plays with him more. 
He starts assaulting Vasti, but the police intervene and tell him to stop and return home. The CEO of the deconstruction firm informed Lucas in the car that the explosives Vasti took could be buried virtually anywhere, including in paint. He then grabs Vasti's personal effects and heads to the FBI's main office. He makes the decision to search his wallet for any traces of the explosion. Testing the paint streaks on the wallet, he finds that Vasti had really combined explosives with paint. Lucas claims that they must discover Vasti's former employment, and thanks to an FBI hacker, they learn that he was dismissed from a paint firm earlier in the year after stealing something from the warehouse. They also learn that the Federal Reserve Bank was the final structure the business painted, indicating the bomb is probably near there. Without the other agent's consent, Lucas grabs Vasti and travels to the Federal Reserve Bank. In the meanwhile, everyone is evacuated from the bank due to a security alert. When Lucas and Vasti enter, FBI officers quickly stop them. While holding one agent hostage, Lucas commands the other agents to lay down their guns. The others are soon knocked to the ground by Lucas while Vasti engages in combat with an agent. Lucas then locates the manager and requests to be taken to the main safe. The manager informs them that the safe door will automatically close if they touch the money inside due to a high-level security mechanism. With the intention of apprehending Vasti, the other cops enter. Lucas, however, insists that they leave the bank immediately in order to avoid the bomb going off because it is covered in paint. The device will detonate in a matter of minutes as a result of the electricity that will shortly be turned on. Lucas orders to kidnap the agent who Vasti has taken captive. Vasti nods in agreement, and Lucas orders the other operatives to go immediately or else they would all perish. The agents are forced to open the safe, releasing Lucas and Vasti within. They discover Lucas is dead after hearing an explosion a little while later. The agents plan Lucas' funeral the next day. However, we find that Lucas and Vasti are spying on them from the outside. We learn via a flashback that Vasti and Lucas had been friends since they were teenagers when Vasti protected Lucas from some bullies. They had been conspiring to steal $200 million from the bank for the entire time, fooling other agents. They exited the bank via a hole that a pin-sized explosive had made. Lucas tells his elderly father that it is time to take a vacation. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay updated on future videos. Leave a like to support the channel.